and welcome back to Let's Play Crusaders of Might and Magic on the PS1. When we last left off, we were just exploring some places in the Citadel, and, or as Mr. Hammington III says, THE CITADEL! Yeah, and here's another one of these save points. Oh yeah, and also something that I should say is, like, there is another save there. Yeah, I just checked, was checking on something. And you know what? Uh, just, yeah, uh, I don't know, switch, eh, switch back to the mace, because why not? Yeah, and I, honestly, there's something that I can't, there's actually a certain quest that I could do, oh, there's the music, it's kind of arbitrary where it is, and also that's the third save point! It's kind of arbitrary as to how, as to when the music fades and does that, uh, I don't know, if, when it fades and fa fades in and fades out, well, there's Lady Celestia, but I do not want to talk to her. Not just yet. Okay, first... I don't know. I don't know what the condition... Oh, yeah, there's these plaques here. Eh, might as well read this one. The dwarves came from the east long ago and delved, and delved the Corinthian mines within the vastness... The vastness mountains? Really? They found rich mineral deposits, but also encountered buried volcanism and danger for from the lower earth <laughs> they had a perilous yet profitable existence but that's to their liking that but that's to the liking of most dwarves so they've been content to stay and welcome most travelers to their grandiose halls yes there are dwarves I play might and magic 7 usually I yeah whenever I play might and magic 7 I usually as I can say, I'm a default Dan when it comes to the party. Because I can literally beat that game, no problem, with the with the default party. And it's actually fun. And it's actually quite balanced, too. Because honestly, when it comes to making a party, it's usually a good idea to have a bit of everything. Hello? Okay, sorry. Sorry about that. Just testing to make sure if my, if my headset is going in both ears. Because sometimes when I, when I talk, the microphone doesn't... The uh, microphone doesn't pick up. And yes, yeah, so when it comes to jumping, and when I meant jumping off the bridges, I meant like jumping off right here. Don't jump off here, her, and go forward because you will hurt. You will take fall damage. And woo, woo, woo. <laughs> Look at that. Woo, woo. Yeah. Okay, now let's get back to this guy. Drake, listen, I'm in a bit of a bind. My lieutenant told me to bring this talisman to him before my shift started. But now I'm here and they'll throw me for from the citadel if I leave my post. Take it up to him for me, would you? You want me to take a magical talisman to your lieutenant? Yes, you've proven yourself, you've proven trustworthy before. I think you can handle this duty, can't you? Handle it? Eh, that I can. And here, P Guard Pestros gives you Ackman's Omkam's talisman. <laughs> yeah, that is actually a mind armor talisman. It's one of the first talismans that you can actually find. There's a reason for that why I say find. Well, actually get. Because yeah, there's a reason why I said that. But yeah. And we'll just get to the... Yeah, that guard, the guy that I just walked up to and just turned around that's the guard that's the lieutenant that we need to talk to and also don't worry we're gonna get to some action pretty soon I hope and we might have like only seven minutes or so but oh uh, well. I don't know maybe maybe less I don't know maybe less maybe more <laughs> anyways oh geez oh geez coughing fit Oh yeah, here he is. Excuse me, you Lieutenant Foss. I, that. What can I do for you? One of your men gave me an important artifact to give you. What would that be? A talisman of some power. Occam's talis. Occam's talisman. What? That's Petros. Petros, isn't it? Well, tell him to quit wasting my time. We got enough of those rotting in the storehouse to outfit a battalion. Embarrassment of riches, eh? I suppose. Tell you what. Keep it for your keep it yourself. 
You've done well to bring it to me, but honestly, I just wanted to make sure Petro Petros returned it. Do me a favor, though, would you? If you head down to the beach again, tell Lieutenant Sh... Sh... Oh, wait. Schmick dead. Yeah. Okay, let me try this. Schmick middeck. Schmick middeck. To mobilize. We're preparing to counter the counter offense in in stronghold, and he needs to be ready. Problem is the oh, blah blah blah. Shut up. The pl problem is when I tried to the beach, I couldn't find this lieutenant. It was ridiculous. I don't know where he is. I was like, I tried the beach, but you know what? There's something I do want to show you. Is like the loading screens because yeah, the only way to actually pretty sure the only way and eh, you know what I'll show this one and you know what I'll cut it and I will reload it Okay, and here we go. Let's see if this works. Yes load game loading game Yeah, there you go see that's the only way you can actually see these loading screens is you have to load the game itself and yeah, I'm not going to go down to the beach because I have looked down there before and they are not, there is no guy by that name there. I've checked by everybody, nobody there. Okay, let's get on with the game, shall we? Let's talk to Lady Celestia. Yeah, just wanted to show you. So yeah, if you want to see the loading screens and if you're keen on playing the game yourself, then go right ahead. Okay. Stronghold is one of the oldest fortresses known to history. Some say it roots back to the very ancients when they ruled the world. Run by an order of monks for centuries, the order of Stronghold was always been secretive and withdrawn. Its two fortresses are oddly designed for protection from attack from without and from within. Many have wondered what could, poss what could possibly attack this fortress from within. Hmm, I wonder what. Yeah. The glacial wasteland to the south of the vastness mountains has occasionally been probed by adventurous airship crews, but most ships that go into the glacier just never return. Rumors abound of mysterious giant ice beings and glimpse of ancient technologies, but reports are so scant and unreliable that these stories cannot be trusted. Oh, jeez. Jesus. Okay, and... These are the royal bedchambers, not me pass, and there's a... There's a barrier. And the, this dense, dark forest lies between Stronghold and Corinthia. Its gloomy depths hide many secrets and are home to a noble race of tribespeople, simply known as the Dashers. The Dashers have very little contact with strangers and prefer to keep them themselves. This has occasionally been reinforced to outsiders by publicly executing interlopers. Yeah, shut up. Okay, let's talk to Lady Celestia, shall we? Welcome, stranger. I am Celestia, Lady Archon of this crusade. News of your escape from Stronghold has inspired my crusaders to even greater efforts in the war below us. Oops, hope they don't hold it against me. I have a new mission for you. That a fact. I know you're not a man to do something merely because it's requested, so I shall provide incentive. Seek out the Quartermaster. She will allow you to draw a sword, a suit of scale mail, and a shield of our order. This should more than recompense you for your duties. Which are? You must go forth to Corantha and contact King Stoneheart. Remind him of the favors that he owes the Lady Archon, and then request that he send forces to assist with our battle against the Legion at Stronghold. Sounds like politics. Ain't that a job for a bag of wind like you, Ursin? My captain has other duties. Besides, I've already arranged for Erin to ferry you from the docks. She'll guide you to Duskwood. From there, it's a short hike to the caverns of Karantha. Farewell, Jake. Our thoughts go with you. Funny. I don't remember saying yet. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. Drake getting dragged into it. And, yeah. I think I said Karanthia. Yeah, it's Karantha. Oh, jeez. And uh, I don't know if we will actually be able to get much action 
in this video as well. Because, well, we need to suit up and move out. And we definitely need the... We definitely need the upgrade. Because let's just say this... This... This spike shield, this leather armor and mace... The, and along with our other gear is not going to cut it. And also I kind of need to buy some supplies. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I freaking hate it when that happens. Luckily, I can cut out the mic, though. It's not the best of things. And also, I'll actually be able to demonstrate as to how you buy things in the game. So, yeah. Okay, and it's right here. And he's got another battle axe. And here's the Quartermaster. I'm Corinda, the Quartermaster of our Crusade. This storehouse of items is available to you. Look around. If you'd like to purchase anything, just let me know. Okay, yeah, the way that... Oh. Oh. For your service, here's a long sword, a kite shield, and a suit of our finest scale mail to help you in our, your adventures. And yes, we got a long sword, kite shield, and the much needed scale mail. Let's equip that. And equip that. Woo! Yeah! Looking at all decked out. Yeah, now, now it's time to tell you how you buy stuff. You hold down R2 and you look at the thing that you want. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have enough body gems. Yeah, that's what you need them for. You need them for these. Don't, don't have enough for that. And I don't have enough for that. Exploding gem. 40. Yeah, there's throwing axes. And then there's the... There's these stuff. This stuff. And yeah. Can't hold anymore. Can't hold anymore. Can't hold anymore. Yeah, don't bother buying that. And also, yeah. Then there's like this stuff. That's expensive. Oh, jeez. Not again. Oh, jeez. Okay, yeah. Something that I want to do is to buy some potions. I want to buy one of these. And yeah, you press the square button while looking at it. And got 11 of these. Yeah, buy 20 of those. And... Oh yeah, I was going to check my gold. Statistics! Uh, you know, I do have the regeneration, but then again, eh, just buy a few more. Oops, bought, bought one extra. Oh well. Hello? Oh jeez, yeah. Sorry folks, the headset cut out. Give me a moment. Oh, this headset is on its last legs. It seriously is. Friggin' hell. I'm coughing all over. Coughing all day. Well, no. Actually, no. Just when I've been recording. I don't know why I've been recording. Oh, yeah. That's right. Also, I should check armor. Yes. Now look at our stats. And also, see that rune there where it says X? That means we got it. See, we got good armor class versus air magic. But weak against everything else. But we do have solid, solid mind protection everything else is pretty weak but yeah that's what um that's what the buying oop, that's what getting better armor does and i definitely want to get that plate armor that full plate or plate armor there's actually a way that i know in the game where you can actually farm stuff like that oh jeez oh no Oh, jeez. Ugh, friggin' hell. Yeah, coughing like a maniac. It's pissing me off. Anyways, I'll save it. Oh! Jeez, the friggin' wee's itchy. Itchy all friggin' over. And, save over the citadel, as he says it. As Mr. Hammington III says it. Okay, oh, save it. Come on! There we go. And just walk a little bit. Also, yeah, dude over here. Beyond this area lies the barracks, the training arena, and holding cells up. The ramp is the way to the corridor. Royal control conch and the royal chambers. Farewell, friend. And farewell to you. And farewell to you, viewers. 
So I shall end it here. I've been Northern Star Dragon. This has been Let's Play Crusaders of Might and Magic, and I'll see you in the next video.